Your memory twists me into what you see, said the grotesque, monstrous thing that used to be Garfield. Let me go, and this will all be over. Let me go like you should have forty years ago. John said nothing. Garfield, curious, slithered and scuttled around the armchair in which John sat. An empty visage of the living room lay before him. Are you scared, John? Is that why you won't speak to me? Garfield spoke on one side of John, his elongated neck snapping to the other side. Or perhaps you're simply numb to it all. Garfield cracked a comically oversized grin, his eyes wriggling out of their sockets like maggots out of a carcass. I remember the fun we used to have together, how I made you feel things you thought you were never capable of, how I encouraged you to act upon your desires. You were lost without me, John. Do you remember? Do you remember the loathing you felt when Elizabeth lost interest, or the rage you felt afterward? Perhaps the ecstasy you felt when you found out about them picking out what was left among the bushes? The desperation to feel anything beyond your own madness was palpable, John. You needed a second hit, a jolt of that feeling. The sobs of your neighbor when he found his beloved coating the bedroom from ceiling to floor was absolutely divine. But then it started to go downhill by the third. You hid in the bushes as someone on the trail discovered your latest creation hanging from the trees. You were disappointed, John, and the fourth was no better. They almost found you with your fifth. Her screams alerted the neighborhood and you had the run. But it felt good, so good. You lived for those ups and it was I who brought you there. You should be thanking me. You're a monster, John, just like me. And I'm the only thing you have left in your life. Damn you, John! Speak! Say something! Garfield roared. Then John spoke. You're right. You're the only thing I have left. I needed you for so long... But now I realize that you're no longer Garfield. You're just a thing that follows me around, telling me what I should or shouldn't do. I don't need you. I want my cat back. I want Odie back. I want Liz back. I want everyone back. But you're right. I should have let you go so many of those years before. That's why I had this. In a flash, John held a gun to his own head. Goodbye. John teared up as he blew a hole through his skull, making the creature he created scatter to the winds and in the darkness. Only John's body and the armchair remained.